Hey guys, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and we are doing uh, another Top 10 Tuesday, and this week we are doing Technological Terrors. Yes, uh, this was kind of a challenge, because with a lot of films, it kind of mix matches, could this could be a mutation, well technology kicked in, so could this be a tech technology terror, I don't know. So I kind of challenged myself, went through my collection, and figured out, okay, let's do a little bit of everything. Uh, what can match, what could do well with each other. So uh, let's move my little Mecha Godzilla here, because, you know, he's a technological terror himself, but <laughs> he didn't make the cut. Sorry. So let's go with number 10. Oops. Uh, number 10 is from Screen Factory. Uh, Eva Destruction. This actually was a lot of fun with Gregory Hines. Uh, pretty much technology is they develop an android that's capable of being human. While they're on a test run to see how she does in the public, they're, she's in a bank. Uh, robbery takes place. She gets shot. It activates her like kill mode. So she goes on a rampage and starts killing a bunch of people. Uh, she's trying to relive, uh, relive some of her fantasies and her dreams and trying to become more human and Gregory Hines is the uh, the government's uh, go-to man to save humanity because if she blows up or she activates her final switch she's a freaking nuclear device so that was really cool I really enjoyed this film I didn't see never heard of it much until uh, Screen Factory released it I picked it up for cheap and that was well, well worth the uh, pr the uh, price. So number 10, Eva Destruction. Oh. <clears throat> Let me just adjust myself here. Alright, number 9 is a sci-fi channel film. And that is Co uh, Project Viper. This was a really fun film. Different type of creature feature slash uh, technology terror where the government develops a strain of uh, excuse me, like a bacteria type to live on Mars. So the technology was there to uh, develop this living thing. A malfunction happens in space, it gets blown up. They have a second one, it gets uh, stolen, and it's released on Earth. And it starts inhabiting this town, and starts eating people. And uh, it's kind of like this blob-like creature. There's really cool uh, effects in how Sci-Fi Channel did it. You know how it has their bad CGI's. This actually wasn't bad, I think this was in the late 90s early 2000 if you've never seen project viper give this uh, a check out for sure all right number eight it's another sci-fi one that is evolver this was a lot of fun uh pretty much this kid cheats in this game it's kind of like a uh, virtual reality game so he wins the contest to get this little robot and he could play games with it. The robot has four different levels, I think it was four or five, to uh, play against. As you can see, these little targets. He has a little laser guns to shoot at it. Well, uh, the director, who was the actor known as and Q on Star Trek Next Generation, tells him, you know, bring back the data and everything. Well, they kind of fuck up the machine, the robot a little bit, and it gets damaged, and it activates its secondary mode. <laughs> And it starts, you know, going after people and starts killing certain targets. It considers them uh, player one, player two, etc. And it has to eliminate all the players. And it actually kills them. And once they're dead, game over for that individual. This was a lot of fun. If you've never seen Evolver 2, check out Evolver. This was, uh, I think, late 90s as well. Um, a lot of, I, not a lot of fun, for sure. A lot, a lot of fun. Cool special effects. You don't get lad, you don't get any bad CGI at all. Maybe in when they're in the virtual reality realm, but you're only in that for a little bit. But that's that's just the game. The rest of it is awesome. All right, next one is Hollow Man. I really enjoyed this film. Uh, pretty cool take on the Invisible Man. They're building, you know, trying to develop a invisible formula with their technology to you know uh, they test it on animals they never do in a live test 
Kevin Bacon is the scientist, you know, tested on himself because they need results. If not, their fundings are going to be pulled. So he does. The uh, serum works. Then he goes insane and goes on a killing spree. Fantastic film. I loved it. Um, I guess some people dislike this film. I really enjoyed Hollow Man. I thought this was a really cool uh, te technology type horror. Like I said, this is a one where uh, technology is they develop the serum, uh, the new tech gets involved, it turns them into a psychopath. So now you have like a psychopath, you have a slasher, you have all this shit to it, but a lot of fun. So that's Hollow Man. Uh, next one is uh, Man's Best Friend. Now here's another one that's a mix because uh, they take a dog and they like here's the genetically enhanced versions of it uh, but the dog has abilities of a St. Bernard he has cloaking the ability of a chameleon he can climb uh, walls or trees like a cougar but he's got some parts to him where he can pee acid <laughs> uh, awesome film Lance Henderson is the Scientists out to destroy the dog because he knows how bad it is. Uh, Ellie Sheedy is the one who who uh, befriends the dog, and the dog befriends her and likes her. I thought this was a really cool uh, setup. Like I said, this can be in a mixture of different films. I'm going this in with technology as well because without the tech, you wouldn't have the dog. So, man's best friend. Uh, next one is a favorite of mine. It's a remake called The Shaft. Uh, <laughs> not a porno. Uh, this has uh, got Naomi Watts in it, Eric Thal, and James Marshall. Uh, your next step is hell. This is a remake of The Lift. So now you have The Shaft. Pretty much the government agency <clears throat> is working with computer chips they're using dolphin DNA for a while. Well, now they're starting to use human DNA with microchips. And pretty much they use these uh, chips with human DNA and put them in the Sears Tower into the elevators to test them out because they wanted to use them for, uh, <clears throat> you know, missiles and their military projects. So this was a, kind of like a base test run. So <laughs> pretty much the human DNA in the microchips goes crazy and they wants revenge so it starts killing people with the elevators <laughs> it's so much fun uh, some cool favorite scenes, my favorite scenes when everybody's in the elevator and the ground gives way oh, fun flick uh, a lot of cool death scenes <clears throat> there are some scenes taken from the lift into the shaft like the blind guy with the dog uh, the decapitation of one of the security guards, same thing. Great film. Uh, I found this as a rental once, rented it, loved it. Went on eBay like two days later, and I bought it for a couple bucks on eBay. I'm glad I did. The Lift. Next is, of course, can't have it without Lawnmower Man. Uh, fun, fun film with the whole uh, virtual reality taken Job who was kind of a slow challenge man. He gets become super smart. He uh, becomes like the super genius and he can control anything technology. He gets into the computers. He can scramble you just by looking at you, which is awesome. Some cool deaths on that. Kill it scene with the death of the lawnmower as well. Uh, can't have technology without lawnmower man. Definitely, definitely a fun flick. Uh, yeah. Alright, final three. Next one is another mixture of films, and that is Deep Blue Sea. Yes, this is a killer shark film, but it's also a technology film because the scientists decide to uh, use the technology of enhancing the shark's DNA so they can find the cure for, uh, oh shit, for Alzheimer's faster because it was going too slow so they kept going and going and enhancing the DNA of the sharks and the sharks became super smart 
So without the technology there, you wouldn't have these really smart sharks. Uh, love this film. I can watch this movie over and over again. Uh, I'm sorry if you don't figure this as a, uh, a technology, but it is to me. So this one can fit into multiple categories. So, yes, Deep Blue Sea. Number two is Virus. Uh, this is a fun film. I'm glad I found... I remembered seeing this back in the theaters and had to pick it up. Uh, you know, alien... It's kind of like an alien slash uh, technology because... Oh, sorry. Um, the alien gets zapped down through the ship's uh, radars and it starts to merging with our tech and starts forming this Goliath creature. And of course this salvage crew tries to salvage the boat and the creature takes takes you over t making you into scrap parts. Fun film. Uh, yeah, gotta have virus in there. And my m number one technology terror is of course Chopping Mall with the Killbots. They're the new security system of the future. Lightning strikes, turns the robots on, turns them into these slasher type uh, figures, and goes after kids in the shopping mall. Can't say anything bad about this film. I freaking love this film. It's in my top, top films to watch over and over again. I love what the robots look like, as you can tell from my little avatar down there. Uh, cool decapitation scene, you know. Shopping mall. That's my number one. Now, you're probably figuring out, well, where's hardware? Yeah, I was looking at hardware. I think that's more of a post-apocalyptic. Uh, the Android was already there. I could have done that. Could have done some Terminator. But I decided to go a little different route, and this is the route that I chose. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Like, subscribe down below. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my little Mechagodzilla says enjoy as well. Sorry. I'm tired. All right, guys. Have a good one. Later. Peace.